dancing in the dark Middle of the night Taking your heart And holding it tight Emotional touch Touching my skin And asking you to do What you've been doing all over again Oh, it's a beautiful thing Don't think I can keep it all in I just gotta let you know What it is that won't let me go It's your love It just does something to me It sends a shock right through me I can't get enough And if you wonder About the spell I'm under By taking your hand And who I am now Is who I wanted to be And now that we're together I'm stronger than ever I'm happy and free Oh, it's a beautiful thing I think I can keep it all in And if you ask me why I've changed All I gotta do is say your sweet name It's your love It just does something to me It sends a shock right through me I can't get enough And if you wonder About the spell I'm under Oh, it's
Who gives this young lady to be married? I do. Thank you. You mean join hands? <laughs> First of all, we want to welcome each and every one. You may be seated. Uh, family and friends, uh, as you well know, we're here to honor these two in uh, joining into a life of uh, matrimony that uh, they will enjoy their, their travel together throughout this land as they grow together and that you would uh, always be with them and, and guide them and strengthen them and that their love would do nothing but grow. Uh, as we know, marriage has been ordained by God in the Garden of Eden and confirmed in Canaan of Galilee by the presence of the Lord himself. And he declared by the inspired Apostle Paul to be honorable among all men. It is not something we enter into lightly or uh, but we enter in soberly and with the knowledge of the life that we are to share together. So, <coughs> God gave us marriage as a, as a joyous occasion for the full expression of love between man and woman and God so that they might find and grow in the love and comfort of each other and God also, always with them. With all that is pleasant, and joyful and being one of the most significant and important events in one's life. It is sacredness and unity is likened to the uh, relationship of God and his church and is the most uh, binding uh, covenant known to man's relationship. It will be a perfect union as long as the three agree, Trey, Devon, and God. <laughs> in Galatians uh, 2, 18 and 20 and 22, it says that the Lord said, It is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet, cooperative to him, comparable to him. But for Autumn there was not found a helper comparable to him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and the Lord took the rib and closed it in the flesh, and in its place, then the rib which he, the Lord, had taken from Adam, he made woman, and he brought her to man. <clears throat> Since God created and provided all the information to make this union the very best it can be, God must always be in this, re in this union to make it last. Trey, your responsibility is to Devon as long as you live. Likewise, Devin, your responsibility is to Trey as you live. <clears throat> also in Ephesians 5.31, it says, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, be joined to his wife, and the two shall be one. Nevertheless, let each one of you, in particular, so love his wife as himself, and let the wife see that she respects and loves her husbands. <clears throat> So in this, uh, it is, I'm sorry, I'm nervous too. <laughs> okay, wives are to submit to their own husbands as it is fitting in the Lord. Husbands love their wives and treat them with respect at all times as uh, in good times and bad times. They have written their own vows, so at this time we will let them recite their vows. Trey? I'll hold on to that. That'll work. So I know we were supposed to type up our vows, but mine's more of a kind of wing it, more out of the heart. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyways, let me go ahead and go on. Um, Devin Ann, the fact that the first time that we met, we, of course, had no idea. It was all just softball, and it was just a lot of fun. First day you met me was when I was high on energy, which normally scares a lot of people away. The fact that you were willing, when we started dating, to deal with me for at least even a month, honestly, which is already crazy as it is. Um, but... 
when it came to relationships and everything else, by far, it came so easy, it came so natural. It's meeting you and then also spending the time with the amount of time that we spent together. It was already, I'm not getting rid of you. You're mine. And in a way, it's also like you're stuck with me. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm happy we even met. If we didn't met me, I don't know where I would have been. By far, you are the best thing that ever happened to me. And I'm so happy you're in my life now. Yes, I do love her. She is my favorite. Okay, let me look at you. I love you. You are my favorite. You are the best. I better be your best friend. You. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> I meant to write this on a piece of paper. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to pull it out up here. Hey, it was so good. <laughs> Loading, loading. <laughs> okay, there it is. Trey, one year and some months ago, you captured my heart. Just Hello? Oh, it died. You turn. Did it Be die? loud. Take Trey's mic. Take Trey's mic. I don't know if it'll work. No, those are just for now. That's what I, I thought. Be loud. Be loud. So you just got. Trey, one year and some months ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The sweetest, most loving, compassionate, and sensitive person I have ever known. Meeting you at the field, even though you didn't remember <laughs> till next practice, because of Andrew, um, <laughs> brought, <laughs> um, brought joy to my heart and soul when I was in dark place. You are my love, my life, the air that I breathe. You are my soul, my happiness, all that I need. You have been my very best friend through the good and the bad. You have been the reason that I smile and have given comfort beyond measure when I have cried. You are my ups, my downs, the reason I try. You are my strength, my weakness, the love, for, the love from the start. You are my heartache, my pain, my beat of my heart. You are my tears, my joy, and the love that you bring. You are my world, my galaxy. You are my everything. Love your favorite wife. <laughs> love your favorite wife. <laughs> she didn't touch the bottom of it. We lost it again, but I think I can talk loud enough. Oh, yeah. uh, in this, I, I just really, with Devin and, and Trey, um, I wish them the best, but May I urge each of you to keep in mind that your future happiness is to be found in mutual uh, consideration, patience, kindness, confidence, respect, affection for each other. It is for the benefit of each of you to find the greatest joy in company of each other and to remember that in interest as in affection that you may be uh, one and undivided. And also that I would suggest that any time that something is going wrong, always remember why you fell in love with her. <laughs> so, was you going to exchange wings? Yes. Okay, yes. Trey, would you repeat after me? With this ring. With this ring. I pledge to you never dying love. I pledge to you never dying love. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Devin Ann, would you repeat after me? With this ring. With this ring. I pledge my never dying love. I pledge my never dying love. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. You may kiss your bride.
And in this, now I, uh, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you all for being here. Now we went, do have dinner for everybody in the other room, so please stay for the dinner. Thank you. Cheers.